Uh, good morning, uh, subscribers and viewers. Uh, you'll have to forgive me today. Uh, my system here is giving me some bit of a problem. So I'm not going to go live because my life, I'm awake, can, seems to have developed a, a bit of a problem, but we'll have it sorted soon. Uh, today I'm not going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, I, will, I will only respond to questions. Uh, I think there's two questions from people. Uh, who need to want to know about Zimbabwe's switch from the old machine readable passport to the new e-passport. So the questions that I have, um, there's just two of them. The first uh, is about when the new e-passport is going to, uh, to, to, to be operational. The second one is uh, what happens to the old passport. The third, okay, the three of them, the third one is uh, about the prices of these passports oh, and where people can apply for the new passport. So the first question is uh, pertaining to uh, when the new passport uh, began to, to be operational. Uh, now the central, as the civil registry office uh, began to issue the e-passport uh, on the 18th of January 2022, which is the 18th of January this year, so that's when the Civil Registry Department began to issue this passport, the e-passport. Uh, then it was, uh, it began operational on the 7th of February. And now we are told that the whole of Zimbabwe, uh, all entry points and exit points, that is the borders in Zimbabwe, have been informed of the security features of this new passport and they have already uh, begun to process travelers who are using it whether you're going out of zimbabwe or you are going in you can now use it uh, all ports of entry the all immigration department has been furnished with the security features of the e-passport what happens to the old machine readable passport uh, you will remember that last week uh, we went uh, to tell people about the application proce <laughs> process sorry the application process of the e-passport it can only be applied for at the civil registry uh, department in harare nowhere else in the world so if you are outside zimbabwe you can go to the nearest zimbabwean embassy and apply for the old machine readable passport because uh, it's like